What's up guys? It's me. I know I've not put out hardly any videos in a long time. Um, so that's why I'm making this one. I've got some footage I need to edit and upload. Just not really had a chance. Um, I've had a lot going on. I got hit with, uh, walking pneumonia. No, I didn't get coronavirus. <laughs> no, I really didn't. Um, but I, I did get hit with walking pneumonia, um, and that knocked me out of work for a little bit. And then in the midst of all that, my wisdom teeth, which were in terrible shape, um, were causing me so much pain. So I scheduled to have those taken out, and I've had those taken out, and I'm just now, like, completely healed up. That's been two weeks ago today. Um, and so I went back to work on Monday, and they were like, yeah, at end of shift, you're going to pack up your computer and you're going to go home and you're going to work from home. I'm like, mm, okay, cool. So um, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm actually on my lunch break. I'm at home sitting at my desk, kitchen table, um, in front of my computer. About to go find me something to eat. But I am alive. Um, and before all this happened, when I was feeling a little bit better... Um, Blaze Wheeler, and if you've not watched his channel, go check it out. Super cool guy. Um, and Noah Inferno from the live stream, um, they came down and we went and played some Bakugan at one of my local gaming shops called uh, Mulligan's uh, Gaming Pub. Yeah, Mulligan's Gaming Pub. Um, super awesome place. Huge shout out to them. Um, I was wearing my Armored Alliance, um, shirt that I got from the sneak, uh, the invitational and had my Bakugan hat and my, uh, you know, the slip on Vans and we walk in and immediately greeted, um, I was like, hey, what, you know, what brought you all in? And we're like, ah, eh, we're just, you know, we're going to chill and play some Bakugan. And he's like, oh, awesome. So we go and pick, find a table and start sitting down trying to get ready to, you know, set up some games, play some games, maybe record a little bit. And we're approached again by the same guy. And he was like, hey, yeah, just um, so you all know, we um, we actually ordered some, some Bakugan stuff already. It's like, what? So hype ensues and we talk with the owner and the owner said that he ordered the the bare minimum which was like five hundred dollars worth of of product and um he had already reached out to spin master himself i had sent them the the message that ventus knight had posted in the discord with the the contact email um and then just never heard anything back from them so i was like okay um, so the, the only reason that they went with the minimum was because they had bought into like Dragon Ball Super and, um, there was another card game, Weiss Schwartz, I think it was, uh, they bought a lot of stuff into that and then nobody ended up showing and now they're stuck with like 60 some odd boxes of like Dragon Ball Super pa uh, packs or something like that. It's crazy. Uh, so I completely get it. Um, but now is the time. Go talk to your local gaming stores see what you know see what you can do about getting bakugan in your area because it's happening guys i was at a point where i didn't think that much was going to happen this year i heard the you know the rumors and stuff um or well not rumors but the seen the picture from new york, new york toy fair and was like you know kind of took it with a grain of salt because um you know, things have been just kind of slow and it's, things were slow in 2019. It was, um, it was awesome. The game still, you know, I still love the game and everything, but, um, I, I kept in 2019, I kept building myself up for and expecting all these awesome things and getting hyped up and I just didn't want to get let down. So I was just kind of taking it one day at a time. Um, but I'm stupid hyped now because I went and they had already, done basically the reason that we decided we were going to go and play there was because we wanted to continue trying to grow the community um so yeah go talk to your your local game stores try and grow your community because you can definitely do it it's it's not 
too terribly hard. Um, I know Negative Legend had created some uh, like flyers and cards and stuff that you can print out. Um, I'm definitely going to be taking advantage of that. So thank you, Negative Legend. Um, and I definitely will be painting more Bakugan, like you, you said. That's something that I plan on doing. And I've got um, some ideas for some videos that I want to do um, to focus more on the competitive aspect of the game. Um, I feel like unboxings are a dime a dozen, and I feel like by the time I get anything, um, everybody else has already uploaded it. So I'm trying to rehash views and stuff like that that people... You, know, you don't want to see the same thing over and over again. So I'm trying to come up with some some quality content that's my own ideas and my own thoughts and go from there to give you all some fresh content because as cool as Enoch is, I don't think anybody wants to see him unboxed, you know, eight to 10 different times. I mean, it's neat to see people's opinions on the, you know, the figure and stuff, but I feel like it's very base level and I feel like there's a lot more to talk about with each figure than just how it looks and how it is in the packaging and stuff like that that you know nothing wrong with unboxings it's just not something that i want to continue doing personally unless it's something just really cool or really rare or something that i'm just improve like I, i'm really interested in giving my thoughts on um so maybe diamonds because i do unbox a lot of my diamonds the only time i leave them in boxes if I already have one unboxed but um uh, that's because I like to display them on my shelf but um enough rambling and ranting and stuff uh, I've got 13 12 minutes left uh, on lunch so I'm gonna try and find some food get back to this work from home stuff and um I've got a card I've got to mail out um to you know Arcadio um so I'll get that sent out and I'm going to message Randy and see if he's still wanting the Aqua Screeves. But anyway, you all don't need to know all that. You all have an awesome day. Remember to keep calm and brawl on. Mstos88 and Enoch out.